Yo, what's going on guys? I'm back with another video and today I am back on Eradication X Reborn to make a money making guide. But as you can see the, right now there are 24 players online and you guys have been crushing it since my video yesterday. So huge shout out to all of you who have been testing out the server. Anyways, let's go ahead and start with making up some money. Now yesterday I went into the rank landing system just a little bit, not that much. But right now I am going to land out my rank for quite a while. So let's have a look here. Um, you just click on land a rank and then you can choose the rank you have. For example, if you have regular, extreme, super or ed eradicator rank. I will now um, use the eradicator rank. I'll land it out for 10 hours um, and I'll charge 5 100 mil tickets for this. Which means I will get 100, uh, 500 mil my bad um, if someone lands it. So yeah, you can do this with basically any donator rank. Of course, you have to have a donator rank in order to do this, but it is a really great money maker method. You can do this every time you have your rank and you still keep your rank benefits. So yeah, there, it's really a win-win situation for you. Now, of course, Slayer is also a very good money making method. You can just get your Slayer task right here at home. So if you do get task um, or if you just talk to it, I have no idea what my task is. Um, so... Um, I don't remember my task and um, I have to kill 168 gargoyles. Now gargoyles are of course already a good money making method because you get a lot of alcohols and stuff drop. But also you can get uh, a bunch of other slave tasks drop. For example abyssal demons which can give some great loot. Now this is also a very good way to begin out with because you will train your combat stats and once your levels are higher you can go ahead and go do some bossing by clicking on the teleports and of course boss locations. Um, and then you have a lot of the bosses. You can go to God War, Sea Singer, Dead Locus, and all that other stuff. So let's go ahead and test one of these bosses real quick. Let's see if I can manage to get a kill. Probably not because I am uh, very terrible at basically everything I do in my life. But let's have a look here. Now of course I failed killing the boss because I wasn't actually prepared for it. But anyways, bossing is a very good method to make money. Because you can get so many drops which can be sold then for a lot of money. And every single boss has their own unique drops that can be sold so yeah definitely go ahead and make sure you go bossing to make yourself some cash also make sure to do some slayer to start up by training your combat levels and everything anyways you can also go to the ez which is the extreme donated zone now once you are here i already told you guys about these npcs you can thief those um you can also kill them for some loot but you also have this gem stall which i told you guys about which can give double loot and um yeah it's right next to a bank so you make super fast money right here by just spam clicking the gem stall so yeah that's super nice as well now before we continue this video because i am showing a lot of methods which are meant for money and because they are sometimes um, for donators only i will be giving away a donate the rank so all you have to do to enter this giveaway is make sure you are subscribed make sure you turn on the notifications also make sure you like the video and comment your in-game name down below and the winners will be well the winner will be picked in about two days so definitely make sure you go ahead and do that and get a chance of a free donator rank anyways moving on to the next donated money making method which is the super donated money making method by going to the super dragons you can just enter the boss room you will be able to kill all these super dragons which will drop the pet um, um, what's it called the pet tokens uh, which you can then use in the pet token shop but they also drop of course the bones which will then be used um, to make some money which I'll go over in a second let me just go ahead and kill about 10 of these dragons so I can show you guys how much money you can make and how easy it is actually to make all this money but as you can see you get about 22 uh, or 20 plus pet tokens each kill so yeah that's super nice as well all right anyways what you do once you have your bones is you actually go to right here to the hopper you fill the hopper you wind the bone grinder and then you can claim your reward you can basically do this all the time so um yeah i'm just pulling out these bones all in them um, let me just wind them. I have nine sacrificed super bones inside them. Now you can claim experience from these, but you need like um, 35 bones for that. Uh, you can also sell the power, but you need to do a quest for that. But the main thing, of course, is the money you make from these. Now for nine, I will convert nine. I will get 45 mil just for nine bones, which took me maybe like what five minutes to get not even that man also i got 236 um pet tokens from that just small trip um oh this is the pet food shop my bad now to check the um 
uh, the pets you can buy you can just check here as you can see it's 1200 for every single pet right here so yeah it basically takes like 10 to 20 minutes just to get one pet from this shop so yeah that's super nice as well now i agree 45 mil in like five minutes that sounds like a lot However, if you go to the highest donator zone by going to the teleport and going to the Aerodactor teleport, you can actually talk to this Aerodactor right here, check out the teleports and go to the Brutal Dragons. Now what this will do, this will do basically the same. You will get some bones from these dragons which then can be converted for money. However, this is even more insane than the latest one. So I'm just going to do the same. I'll grind about for 5 minutes to get like 10 bones. And I'll come back to you guys once that is done. Alright, so I did 5 more minutes of grinding. So let's put these bones in the hobbit and see what we will get. Now of course I already know the answer but just to hype this up. This is insane money making. But however... <coughs> <clears throat> my bad but however this is the most expensive donator rank so you don't really expect to um, get that much stuff but as you can see you can turn it into experience once again you will need 35 um, bones for that you can uh, also exchange it to an enchanting poison but potion but you need 100 bones for that uh, and you can also spell uh, get spell power but once again you need the quest for that and of course what we are interested in is the money. So how much money did we get from 10 bones? Well, bam, 150 mil GP from 10 bones, which took me like 5 to 10 minutes to get. So that's freaking insane. Making over a build per hour from this method. Of course, you need the max donator rank for that. But besides that, you also have the bosses here, like the um, uh, Jet boss, the Obsidian Champion. So let's go to Jet real quick and make sure we can go ahead and kill him. Of course, Jet is um, pretty hard because he can hit quite hard. So um, yeah, let's see if we can manage to get a kill. Alright, so there we go. We actually did manage to get a kill. Now from this you get an Aerodactor potion and also you get the bones. So you get some money from that as well. But um, yeah, let's have a look what this potion does once we are dead and at home. Alright, now for this potion, what I did find out is you can actually sell this potion for 25 million GP to the shop. However, right now I do want to know what it does. So let's have a look here when we drink it. And um, oh, we, we just uh, transform into this other NPC. This Oh, our stats are boosted quite crazily. So let's have a look here. If we go to a boss teleport, let's just go to the... Um, Let's have a look here. Let's go to Blink. Why not? I just want to test out if this actually works quite nicely. So um, yeah, that would be pretty sick. And I guess you could sell it for a lot more than 25 mil to other people. Seeing what the effects are right here. So um, yeah, let's have a look how much we can hit now. Okay, maybe it's just me. But for me, the potion didn't seem that special. We did get quite a lot of nice hits. Like 500, 600 pluses. But I don't know if it's worth 25 million. However, you do make quite a lot of cash really fast with the bones. Anyways, so yeah, I guess you can use the potion for PVMing. Now, some bosses that are really nice to kill is the combat trio to begin with. Because you can get a royal court rapier, offhand royal court, court rapier, a trio key piece fatal and a fatal pet from these. So yeah, that's pretty nice. All you have to do is kill these three bosses and then you, then you will be able to get your loot. Now, besides those, you can also do your daily spins, which can give you some crazy items. As you can see, you can get a lucky divine spirit shield, a lysian. And a bunch more items. You also can get scratched cards like this, which I just did. Let me just do them for real quick. As you can see right here, you can get 500 million cash, which is quite a lot. Of course, I did not manage to get it. But I did get 54 overloads, which is also very nice because those can be used for PVMing and stuff. So yeah, let's have a look if we can get some other cool items real quick. So um, yeah, let's just do this last spin. See if we can get this kiln. That would be actually super nice. But um, yeah, of course we didn't. And the last one is pretty bad. But we did get two of these tickets, which I think can be claimed for some money. Um, or some more actual um, Squeal of Fortune spins. But yeah, I'm not going to show all of them, I guess. Um, right now, I'll just go into the next method. Now, another great way to make some money is your daily tasks. Now, you get a daily task every time you log in. You can check them by typing colon colon daily, oh, my bad, colon colon daily task. And then it will just say you what you have to do. I would have to submit 50 rune helmets. But once that is done, you have your 50 rune helmets, which can be sold, of course. But you also get some rewards for completing your daily task. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this little money-making guide 
on Eradication X Reborn. Definitely make sure to go on and hop on the server, check it out for yourself. It's a really nice server, has a lot of features, so definitely make sure you go ahead and do that. But if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you didn't already. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!